So we're going to look at an experiment to calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. To do that, we're going to react a piece of magnesium, which we have already weighed, with some hydrochloric acid inside our burette. When the magnesium reacts with the hydrochloric acid, it's going to produce hydrogen gas. We can measure the volume of hydrogen gas, and then using that volume, we can then use that to calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. First things first, I have to fill up my burette. Now, if I put the magnesium in the hydrochloric acid straight away, it will begin to react, and that would lose some of the volume of gas and affect our calculations. So what I'll do is I'll add very carefully our hydrochloric acid, and then on top, I'll add some distilled water, and that will stop the reaction from happening until I want it to. Checking that the burette is closed position, I'll add the acid using a funnel at eye level, no higher. Now, can you see I'm adding it very, very slowly? Because if I add it too quickly, it might spill. I'll now carefully add the distilled water. Remove the funnel. And taking my magnesium, can you see how I've bent it over? I'm going to spring that in between the two sides of the burette so it doesn't move. I don't want it falling out. Now, in one smooth movement, I'm going to invert the burette so that the end is carefully in the trough of water. I'll clamp it back into place and take a reading of how much gas is inside the burette at the start of the experiment. As the hydrochloric acid diffuses through the distilled water, we'll start to see the reaction taking place and bubbles will come from our, hydrochloric, sorry, from our magnesium, mixing with the hydrochloric acid up and increase the volume of gas at the top of the burette. This will take three or four minutes.